Hey Panda, what you got going on there? I'm building a spaceship. That's awesome. Can I take a look at your plans? Oh, I'm just making it up as I go along. Except, I'm not really going anywhere. Well, have you tried to ice it? How is ice going to help this? It will just melt all over everything. Not that kind of ice. Ice is a way to think of iterative design. It a what? Iterative design is a cycle where you plan, design, build, analyze what you made, and then improve it over and over until it works for what you need. Why did you call it ICE? Well, ICE is a better way to remember the steps. It stands for Imagine, Create, Evaluate. You do those steps over and over until you get it right. Each time you imagine, create, evaluate, that's called an iteration or attempt in the design process. For your first iteration or attempt, you imagine. You think about all the possibilities of things you can do. You do things like brainstorm, talk to friends, and work on narrowing down your ideas. You also think of the materials you might need and the people you might need to ask for help. For create, you basically make your first plan. You do things like fill in graphic organizers, make sketches, storyboard, or pre-write. For evaluate, you look over your initial plans and then think of ways you want to make them better. It helps here to conference with someone like a teacher or even a friend who knows what you're doing. Imagine, create, evaluate. Okay, is there a second iteration or attempt or whatever you called it? Absolutely. For the second iteration or attempt, you imagine again. Think of new things to add or things you want to delete from your first plan. Think about what other people have said about your work and look at ways you can make it better. When you create the second time around, you edit, add to your designs, give things labels. You might also have to do things like spell check or test them to make sure that they work correctly. Then you evaluate again. Look at if things are working and if not, try to figure out why. Ask someone to look at your work with you and give you some ways you can make it even better. You may have to do these steps a few times to get your design just right, but when you're close to creating your final project, you'll use the information you've gathered from evaluating to make even more adjustments to your design. For Create this time around, you'll build, perform, present, or share your work in some way more formal. Just because you've got your final product, though, it doesn't mean it's always over. We still evaluate our work to decide if we're proud of it, and we always look for ways to learn more or make improvements later. We may even decide that there are things we would have done differently based on our experience. Imagine, create, evaluate. I like that. It makes me feel like I can always keep learning and doing better. I'm going to ice this spaceship and do the best job ever. Wow, Panda, that's an amazing spaceship. Yeah, I think my next iteration is going to be purple.